Hi, and welcome to The Art Room. I'm Robin, an artist with the Lavin Center for Humanities and Medicine here at the Mayo Clinic. And I have created some short videos to uh, help you to work on an art project. And this is video number eight. And the projects are meant to just give you something to do something to take your mind off of things that might be going on. It's also fun to do these projects with uh, visitors that might come, family, friends, and uh, yeah, just have some fun with it. No art experience is necessary at all to be able to do any of the projects, including this one. So today, uh, I'm going to show you uh, how to create, or at least get started, on creating an art journal or it might be a journal that you decide to write in. So a lot of people keep journals for different reasons. Uh, it's a place where you can uh, capture your thoughts, your feelings, and in this case we're also adding art as something that you can add. And um, so no art experience is necessary at all, and it can be just something fun to scribble in, doodle in, it could even turn into a guest book, and that would be kind of fun that you could have people who stop by to see you, they could write a little note to you, uh, maybe even staff that you've gotten to know might want to write in it and leave a little note. And then later on when you're in your room alone, it's kind of fun and nice to be able to read back through what people have written to you. Um, and if you've done any of the other videos, there might be some art that you even want to glue in on the pages here, and I'll show you a little bit later about that. So um, the other thing to know is that there is an art kit. I'm going to show you what's in the art kit, and that kit has everything in it that you need to work on this project. All you have to do is ask a member of your care team for kit number eight, and they will be able to get one for you, and uh, that will get you started. Um, okay, I think it's time to get started. Here are the tools that you will find in the art kit. There is the art journal, and then we have uh, some colored pencils, a glue stick in case you wanted to do some collage work, a pencil with an eraser, a fine tip marker, and a pencil sharpener uh, for all of the pencils. So the first thing that we're going to do with our journal is to put something on the cover, something that is inspiring to you, or maybe there's a theme, or uh, a topic of some kind that you want to put on the front. And I decided uh, to use the word hope. It's one of my favorite words and a poem that goes with that, that I'll probably put on the inside cover of this journal, is a poem by Emily Dickinson, and some of you may know it. And one of the verses is, Hope is a thing with feathers that perches in the soul. It sings the song without the words and never stops at all. I just love that poem because it's about keeping on no matter what. And so thinking, you know, of course, feathers. Hope is a thing with feathers. It makes me think of birds and cardinals are my favorite bird. And so I decided that I'm going to do a collage on the front of my journal. You can use a photograph. You can uh, find, if you have a magazine of some kind, find a picture or whatever you want to put on the front. So I'm going to do the collage and I already tore this out. I like torn edges better than using a scissor. You can use either one. I think I'm going to tear this even further. Just tear it more around the image of the bird instead of making it square. And yeah, just however it looks good to me is how I'm going to do this. Uh, 
All right, and so this is going to go on the front. And then I went through uh, a couple of magazines that I have and found the letters to form the word hope. And I decided I, I kind of like the fact that the letters are a little bit different. I didn't want them all the same. And so I'm going to go ahead and glue this down just using my glue stick. Let's see, I should probably do that over here so I don't get too much glue on the front of the journal. So make sure you get it on the edges. Oops. And then position it where you want it on your journal. And of course, you can put more than one photo, one picture on here. Uh, I might even add more birds or maybe a tree or something in the background. But this is something to get started. So again, find the uh, some letters if this is what you want to do. Maybe your whole the whole front of yours is just all pictures. And of course, the other options are you can draw something on the front. Uh, this is heavy enough you could even paint your cover. If you happen to have some watercolor paint, maybe from one of the other art kits, that would work. So I'm going to glue the letters on. And I'm not going to put them on there perfectly straight. I kind of like them being a little, a little bit crooked. A little bit more artistic maybe, I don't know. Okay, so I had found some letters that were almost all the same, and when I put them on there, I thought, oh, that doesn't look as as um, creative, I guess, having all the letters be the same type. So I kind of like that they're all a little bit different. Yeah. So obviously I could add a lot more to this and maybe I will. And you might start out with something on the cover and then decide later that you want to add more. So this is uh, step one. So on the inside cover, after collaging on the front, I decided to write what... Um, hope is to me and I already quoted the poem for you so I wrote that on the inside cover and made sure I put Emily Dickinson on there to give her credit for that of course so one thing that you can do is just create doodles on your page and how you would do that is just place your pen anywhere on the page and just start drawing circles, doodles, go across both pages if you want to. Um, just doing whatever you want. Maybe you want to do some spirals. And just keep going as long as you want to. Don't lift your pen from the paper. Just keep going. And you don't have to make everything circles. You could make some squares. Um, any kind of shape you want, really. And then when you're finished, you can, uh, like over here, I'm going to go ahead and connect this line so it's all together, making one large image. You might even look at this and think that you see something in there, maybe a face or an animal. You never know what's going to come out of this. And you can always add more if you wanted to do more around the edges. So then I'll show you how you can do the next step, which would just be coloring it in. So here is a doodle that I did and just colored in the, the shapes. I'm not quite finished yet, as you can see. And there might be some spaces that you want to just leave white. And you might also want to leave some spaces to write uh, some words. And maybe there's something that this image might make you think of. 
when I look at this and the colors that I chose, it makes me think of spring or summer. So maybe I'll write some things on there about spring and summer. I started coloring a little bit more and I did start to see a bird figure here. I guess it's in keeping with the theme that I have from the cover. And so what I did is I took the black colored pencil and just outlined the shape of what I thought sort of looked like a bird. And of course, it doesn't look like any bird you've ever seen before, but I thought it looked a little bit like a bird. So I added an eye, put a little crest over here, and then I made the lines darker that comprised what I thought was the bird and then decided to write the word hope on there. Something else you might think about if you've, like for example, if you've done uh, kit number two, which is the Zentangle project, and you have these little paper tiles that you've created, you could think about uh, just gluing them into your journal. And maybe there's something you might want to write over here. What do these um, designs make you think about? Or of course, you don't have to put anything at all. Or you could put four of them on here. It's kind of a nice way to keep all of the um, Zentangle patterns that you've created. Also in uh, kit number six, video number six, we use scratch boards and you could also glue those inside. So there's lots of different things that you can do. Well, I hope you enjoyed your time in the art room today. Just a reminder that you can ask a member of your care team for art kit number eight, and that will have everything in it that you need to work on this project. I also want to let you know that I am available to meet in person if you would like me to come and help you with this project or any of the other projects and or maybe there's something else that you'd like to do. So uh, just let a member of your care team know and they will be able to let me know that you're interested. So until the next time, have a very creative day.